Okay, so I will make the same uh, scanning area for comparing the accuracy and the precision of the Eagle Radar scanner. Uh, it's going to be an 800 meters walk. It's quite bright, so yeah, I will adjust the brightness be about right. So I will test the accuracy of the SLAM algorithm of the Eagle by uh, making a 3D scan of this landscape. It's quite an uh, open road, uh, 8 meters wide and about 800 meters long. Some area has a low feature, which is the area in front of me. So let's get started. I'm not going to make any change using the default setting. So then I will compare uh, the result with the uh, FJD Tryon S1 with the RTK Fusion. So see how much it will drift. Uh, the path that I'm going to walk is long and narrow, so it's not ideal for SLAM algorithm. Okay, let's click on continue. Uh, here's some tips when you want to make a U-turn walk in the larger radius like this don't just turn your back around so last time it took me about seven minutes with a try next one uh, tracking is good if you look at the number uh, on the screen in the center of the screen that would be the quality of the tracking. So try to keep it uh, under five would be ideal. So I'm going to make a turn. So when you turn, you walk in a radius like this. Turning to the starting point, stop the scan, 9 minutes, almost 10, 
yeah look like we have it the map the screen is not very really responsive let me save it okay so we are done let me uh, shut it down something that you should know that uh, this bracket sometimes is, is getting loose so be careful check it before you use it sometimes it's getting loose by itself i can feel it when i hold it okay, let's check the result if it's good i'm gonna bring it to my real project tomorrow shopping mall scanning okay my favorite method of data transfer using a ssd to be the fastest way faster than the wi-fi it's not like it's a uh, track well so okay click on export okay i'm going to start um point cloud solving or what you can call it point cloud mapping right now I click on start okay the processing has finished for the slam algorithm it took about 10 minutes so um yeah, this is a uh, starting point i don't see any irregularities yeah, I, I investigate more in other software okay let's uh, move to uh, color lights outdoor oh you can see that the cars the car is like um, one meter away the color one and the slam algorithm one see that's why i warn you not to use the color one for um, dimensional the power line pole i think it's more than one meter so drifting is, is very high uh, with the color one Okay, this is the 3D scan install from FJD Tron S1 with the RTK Fusions. It's the highest accuracy uh, equipment that I have and I have uh, been using it for two years. And it's proved itself with, with many projects that I did. And it's quite reliable, uh, especially when I use it with the RTK, which is uh, this scan also has a uh, RTK uh, fused into the point cloud. And I have a line. The magenta color is the result from the ego uh, from the basic data which is the slam corrected data and i also uh, put the color one which is the low data out of the scanner without any slam collection and the result is really uh, surprised me i mean if you look here this is the starting point the magenta color is the ego with the slam corrected data I align all six axes to the location and this is the starting point and when I start walking I start to see um, the drifting even with the beginning of the scan start to drift like five centimeters already and the further I walk see here the wall is start to um, rotate I mean a rotational drifting it's quite a lot see the wall here that's uh, almost one meter halfway there and at the end of the scan, I mean, extreme uh, distance from the starting point. See these two walls here? It's like two meters away. I, I didn't expect the, the other to be this much um, without RTK. But I think it's, it's uh, something is wrong with the, with the software that it used to collect the other. See here, this uh, lighting poles two lighting pole is like um, two meters away from the corrected data which is the green one the green one is the corrected data it's, it's quite a lot so the colorized one the colorized one it has no um, slam algorithm collection at all so it's supposed to give even more earlier than the basic data but to my surprise it's very close to the RTK Fusion from uh, FJD Tri S1. See here, the other is about less than 15 cm. This is the size of the uh, light pole. Light pole is, is, is about 20 cm width. So this is about 10 cm. So the colorized one, if I turn off all this, this is the colorized one. 
the colorized one uh, has a very um, accurate result comparing with the slam one which is it should be the opposite and in my previous uh, video that I make a 3D scan uh, with the eagle in a small uh, three-story house the, the slam one is more accurate than the color one but with this uh, scenario with this uh, large open area scene the colorized one is more accurate than the slam corrected data how is that even possible i mean uh if you don't have any other scanner to uh, compare how would you know that which uh scan result that you should be uh, using for um, reverse engineering or using for a survey result i will wait for uh, 3d maker pros to uh, answers to this question Okay, let me turn on. This is the result from the eagle. If you like, look at the uh, dimensional earlier uh, from 25 meters, this uh, five blocks, 25 meters, it reached 25.015. But when I compare it, FJD Trinus one, it, it reads um, 25.005. So it's uh, only 10 millimeters uh, more accurate with the FJD Trinus one for measuring the relative uh, distance but accumulative alert is very high for uh, for the ego look at the alignment of the walls there must have been some issue with the with the slam that it give uh, this much of the other and if i look at the trajectories you can see that there's nothing wrong with the trajectories you see it's um the starting point and the end point is very close together I don't see any irregularities with the trajectories. It's all they will. Uh, that's why the colorized point clouds only um, 10 or 15 centimeters um, earlier from the RTK Fusion or from FJD Tron S1. Uh, a 15 millimeter is still too much uh, for using it as a survey result in a construction, but uh, the slam one. The result from the slam one is, is, is way too high. I mean, if you look at uh, the light poles, it's about two meters away. Uh, and I think there must have been something uh, really wrong with the slam algorithm. I've tried with the auto loop enable. It's the same. I get the same result, same uh, drifting alert. <laughs> Right. Okay. I have a, a shopping mall 3D scanning project. Uh, tomorrow I will uh, redo this test again. It's smaller area, and I'm gonna compare uh, slam to slam, uh, FGD Tron S1 and Eagle Data Scanner, and see if it still give uh, this much of the other uh, between the color lines and the uh, slam corrected data. See what's the difference. Okay. Um, Thanks you guys for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next video.